Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Christy. Today I have a grocery haul that I want to share with you and it is low carb keto friendly. We just got back from vacation. We need to restock the fridge and the pantry because we got no food. <laughs> you know how it is when you go on vacation, you come home and you realize that you need a ton of stuff. So if you're following a low carb or a keto lifestyle, make sure you follow me here. Hit the notification bell and subscribe. I have an Instagram page. I'll have it right here for you guys. So you can go there and you can see daily pics, before and after pictures, tons going on. I have a Facebook group, All Things Keto with Christy. It's over 22,000 members. It's an amazing group of people and you're gonna love it. No keto police. It'll be linked in the description box so you can click on it. It'll take you right on over. Today's grocery haul will be in the brand new kitchen. Although it's not completely finished, I do have an island, so I'm gonna be filming in there. It may be just a little echoey because I got nothing in there yet, pretty much. The cabinets are empty, so it's making lots of noise, but I want you to see the new island. Really quick, I do have a deal alert that I wanna share with you guys, and this one is for Perfect Keto. They're having a Halloween sale, and it's good the 29th through 31st, so you can save 20% off any purchase. I'm gonna have that linked in the description box for you and the discount code if you need it, so if you're looking for just a few items and you need to save 20%, right now's the time to do it. Another really good deal going on right now is from Equip, and it is on their Prime Protein. This deal does end on October 30th. It's gonna be 50% off your first bag of Prime Protein when you start a subscription. Again, that ends on the 30th. I'll have it linked, and I'll have the discount code in the description box for you. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I cannot be the only person that comes to Walmart at 7 in the morning so that I can beat the crowds and get in and out fast. I go through the salad mixes to see what they've got marked down. Check that out. So like this one is the salsa ranch. If you go ahead and take those tortilla strips out of it, it's going to be way lower carb and $1.34. Yeah, I'm definitely picking that up today. Does anyone else get as excited as I am when you find new items in your Walmart that are keto related? Walmart finally got in the real good breakfast sandwiches that you guys know I talk about these all the time because I love them, but I usually either have to order them or drive far, far away, like an hour to pick them up. They've also got in the breakfast bowls now, so you know I gotta pick up some of these because I love me some convenience foods. So for those of you that's not seen my new island and our countertops, this is what it looks like. Look over the rest of the mess because we're currently unpacking everything that we had stored. So let's go ahead and start out. This is what I was most excited about. You know, if you've been with me for a while, I love their breakfast sandwiches. Those are my absolute favorite. They're convenient, they're tasty. There's so many different ways that you can fix these. I've shown these in my videos before and they finally have them at my Walmart. So I went ahead and picked up the sausage, egg, and cheddar cheese. There's four of these in here. What I like to do is sit one in the refrigerator overnight so I can have it the next day. I toast up the bun. I go ahead and warm the sausage up or the bacon in the microwave. Now the bacon is my favorite. So I picked up two of those. I've only got one out. I've already got the other one in the freezer. This one is the bacon, egg, and cheddar cheese. Again, you get four. Each one of these is three net carbs. The sausage ones are four. I'll go ahead and show you the macros on this one in case any of you are interested. One breakfast sandwich is 310 calories. You've got 22 fat, 19 protein, and seven total carbs, which isn't bad. But when you go ahead and deduct your fiber, which is four, that leaves you with three net carbs, and these are so filling. Here's your ingredient list in case any of you are interested. And I get asked this a lot. These are gluten-free and grain-free. There you go. These are the two that I picked up for the breakfast sandwiches. I adore these. I picked up only three of their bowls that they have in. I hadn't seen those there either. These are higher in carbs, but you know, my kids aren't doing keto and we like convenience foods because some days are busier than others. So for the girls, these are perfect. I went ahead and picked up the chicken lasagna bowl, which has 11 net carbs. I'm thinking the girls are probably gonna fight over that one. I got this one mainly for Kerrigan. It looks like something she would like. This one is the Mongolian inspired beef bowl with eight net carbs. And then the other one I picked up was the creamy carbonara. This one, 11 net carbs. 
I'm so excited that Walmart is finally carrying more keto friendly items. Okay, I did pick up one of the Taylor Farms Salsa Ranch Chopped Salad Kits. I love these. All I gotta do is just take the tortilla shells out of that and it's gonna cut the carb count down for $1.34. Extremely budget friendly. Quick little tip, if you go in the mornings really early, that's when you're gonna find all the markdowns. The later in the day, the quicker the sales get gone. This one is three and a half servings, 100 calories each, 10 carbs, but two of those are dietary fiber, leaving it eight net carbs, three protein, and six fat. But remember, we're going to be taking the really high carb product out, which are the tortilla shells. Add extra cheese, add some avocado, and then you have a high fat meal that's healthy and didn't cost an arm and a leg. I did pick up a single one of these to drink immediately. That was cold in the refrigerated section, but I also picked up the four pack of Bang. It is cheaper in my area just to go ahead and buy the four packs at Walmart than it is to order them now off of Amazon or to go to Vitamin Shop or GNC and pick them up. You already know Cotton Candy Bang is my favorite flavor. You got that. It's $6.58 for a four pack at my Walmart. I also picked up one of the sugar-free whipped heavy creams, basically Cool Whip. It's a Walmart version. This is the great value brand and at my store, $1.88. I like to mix this with sugar-free jellos, which I'm going to show you in just a second. I also like to mix it with any fruits we eat, like blueberries or strawberries. Chris will sometimes put it on top of his ice cream, put it on top of a frappuccino. This is the only one that I can really find that I like. Again, not clean keto here because of the ingredients, but it is low carb, sugar free, and it doesn't knock me out of ketosis. So this is the one I pick up. But one thing I would have picked up more of is eggs if they'd have had them, but this is the only one they had. We talk about this all the time. There is a distinct difference in your farmer eggs that you can go pick up locally or the pasture raised vital farms. These are so much better than regular white eggs that are like 98 cents. So if you're gonna have to spend a little bit more money on something to get a better taste, I'm telling you, go with eggs. These are the mediums. They only have one and they're $3.98 at my store, but they're so worth it. Take my word for it. If you've never tried Bottle Farms or pasture raised or organic, you need to try them, believe me. Happy hens, they must be because these eggs are delicious. So let's talk about some things that I picked up and one huge difference. I always pick up the Great Value Sausage, and this is what it looks like now. You can see Great Value, family size, original pork sausage patty, fully cooked. This is what the bag used to look like. Same information, except for different packaging and different nutritional information. On the old packaging, one patty, 210 calories, 20 fat, zero carbs, and seven protein. Your ingredients is pork, water, and then contains 2% or less of salt, spices, sugar, dextrose, and natural flavors. Of course, this is a dirty keto item, more like a low carb item since it does have sugar. But let me show you the new packaging. Now it's 200 calories for one patty, 19 fat, one total carb and six protein. So apparently they reformulated the entire thing and your ingredient list has changed as well because check this out, pork, water, salt, corn syrup, solids, spices, dextrose, sugar, natural flavors, BHA, citric acid, and a few other things. But can you believe this? I mean, they completely changed it. So we'll probably be on the lookout for a new sausage, but I just wanted to make you guys aware of what's going on with the sausage I always pick up. Got some of the thin cut steaks. They had these and the ribeyes, but Chris wanted to go ahead and get the Angus New York strip steaks. We love these. I did get some meatballs. These were the best ones I could find instead of just making my own. Don't have time for that. Got a lot going on trying to reorganize this kitchen. So these are the Rosina meatballs. It says they're made with beef, pork, and chicken, and they are home style. 26 ounces and here's what makes it low carb pretty much instead of keto so you get six and six are 250 calories 20 fats five total carbs with two dietary fibers so three net carbs and 13 protein but they have a laundry list of ingredients check all that out so we got corn syrup there's soy flour these are not keto by any means they are low carb hence the low carb keto haul but I figured I would make these maybe with some keto noodles and some Rayo's sauce over top and we would do spaghetti and meatballs one night. And then I did pick up another one of the Quest Thin Crust Pizzas in the Supreme. 
I love these. These are my favorite. Again, it's a thin crust and it's got tons of stuff on it instead of just pepperoni or cheese. I do add extra pepperoni and cheese. If you will just put these directly on the rack in your stove, they crisp up really nice. They're not soggy at all. You get six net carbs for a third of the pizza and we usually have like a salad or a veggie to go with that. I think it's worth the six net carbs, especially when I'm craving pizza. Now, veggie wise, we only needed a few things there. I picked up my tried and true, always get riced veggies, cauliflower risotto medley. Each serving is four total carbs and two net carbs. And there's your nutritional information. So it's a half a cup is 20 calories and your ingredients are only cauliflower, mushrooms, and asparagus. So if you don't like riced cauliflower, because we sure don't, you might wanna try this one because we just don't like the cauliflower taste. This one does not have that. So we just steam it in the microwave, add a lot of butter, some pink salt, and it tastes just like rice. A lot of people have been sending me recipes lately where they add a little bit of heavy whipping cream to this. They make like a sauce to go in it. They cream it up just like a risotto and they say it's delicious. So I definitely plan on trying that soon. But this one is amazing. Also got some Brussels sprouts. Now that I have a stove back and I've got my burner, I can crisp those up. Six Brussels Brussels sprouts it is 35 calories, which isn't bad, three protein, zero fat, but it is four net carbs. So total carbs is seven. There's nothing in this one other than Brussels sprouts. Went ahead and got some green beans also because Briley is loving green beans lately. These are only 50 cents at Walmart. It's the fresh cut green beans and the only thing in this one is green beans, water, and salt. I did go ahead and pick up some of the Rayos homemade roasted garlic Alfredo sauce just cause again, I don't feel like making my own and my Walmart had this marked down to $6. It's usually like eight at my store. Ingredients in this, not bad at all. Rayos is probably one of the best, but make sure you check. Duke's mayonnaise is our mayo of choice. Went ahead and got one of those just to have an extra one on hand. This one does have soybean oil in it. Main ingredient right there, but no sugar added. So that's why we get this one. We've not had sour cream in forever because I mean, seriously, not been cooking. We've just been doing easy convenience foods and I love sour cream. So went ahead and got one of those. Just got the great value brand in that. Chris picked up one of these to snack on. This is the great value dry cured pepperoni mozzarella cheese and olive packs they're around two dollars and something at the store ingredients aren't horrible of course you know any pepperonis usually got like sugar and stuff like that in it but carb count is only two i believe it says total carbs two and fiber two so zero net carbs again just cheese olives and pepperoni and then i did pick up one of these this is the sugar-free jellos you get the strawberry the lemon lime the sour cherry and an orange so i thought with a little bit of cool whip this would be great for briley's lunch or a snack or even for us now let's talk about ingredients really quickly let me turn this over again this was only like two dollars and fifty cents for all of these it does have acylphane potassium in it if you're wondering it is sweetened with aspartame Five calories for one, zero fat, zero carbs, and one protein. Last two items are drinks. My favorite bang is the cotton candy, and I have to pay full price for it, $1.98 at Walmart. And then I got Briley some Powerades. This is her favorite flavor. It is the mixed berry, zero sugar sports drink. She takes these in her lunch every day to school, and it's the only one she likes. Since we have not went to Sam's yet to pick up a couple of cases, I went ahead and got her one there. So that's everything that we picked up at Walmart this time. What you're looking at right here is $18.51 of Chris's keto obsession. He could eat ice cream every single day. I'm gonna go ahead and have to just order some more, just order a big case of it. Enlightened has gave me a discount code. I'll put it below if I can go ahead and find it. I am not an affiliate with them, so I make no profit, and we do order from them, but recently we've been able to find these three flavors locally. So, these are the ones that he picked up. He picked up the Keto Series, the Peanut Butter Fudge, one net carb per serving. The entire pint is four net carbs. The other one is the Chocolate 
peanut butter. This one is chocolate ice cream with the peanut butter ripple that goes all the way through it. I have done a blood glucose and I think a ketones test on that one. If you want to check it out, I'll link it for you. And then our store finally got this one in. We've never had this one before. We've always had to order it in the past. It is Preston, my 24 year old's favorite. And this one is the caramel chocolate double dough. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you in the next video and I hope everyone is doing well. Bye.